search for a new guy Cause I only got one night in town Break out a beat clown Baby doll, are you down? I get around Hey, what's up y'all? It's John and I'm here to show you guys how I'm going to be restoring these 1988 white cement 3s. I really don't have to say how beat they are because you guys can see for yourself. Now before we begin, I just want to say a quick prayer. And I'm going to be reading a passage from the Bible and it states, Thou Lord commandeth to restore all beat J's to their former glory by the hands of the appointed. That's from Little John 3.16. But in all honesty, man, I could ramble on and on and on on how beat they are, even though it doesn't look that beat on camera. We're just gonna go in and restore these bangs. So the first thing we gotta do is remove all of the crumbled midsole off of the shoes, off of the rubber sole, and off of the uppers. And the number one tool I highly recommend is using a heat gun for this process. Now, I just wanted to point out that these might be Michael Jordan shoes per what the customer said in the email. So these are a mismatched pair. One's a size 13 and the other is a 13 and a half. I'm a little skeptical about it, but who knows? If it is, then I worked on an MJ pair again. So the only three tools we need to remove the factory adhesive and debris are acetone, cotton balls, and a heat gun. Now to deoxidize the soles, I'm gonna go back to a really old method, which is the retrobite method. It's only cornstarch and 3% hydrogen peroxide. So to thicken it, I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about 20 to 30 seconds and then I'm gonna leave my soles inside and I'm gonna put them out and let them bake in the sun. As you may not know, hydrogen peroxide is a bleaching or whitening agent. That's why there's hydrogen peroxide in toothpaste, aside from fluoride. A really old school method to whiten clothing is hydrogen peroxide as well. So I'm using the 3% hydrogen peroxide instead of the sole sauce because I want the whitening to last a lot longer. I've noticed with white rubber soles, after I use sole sauce to whiten them, they turn just as yellow within two to three months, but with the retrobrite method, at least half a year to a year, surprisingly. And this is due to the fact of how fast you unyellow the soles. The faster you unyellow them, the quicker they come back yellow. The slower you unyellow the soles, the longer they'll remain white. Unfortunately, the 3% hydrogen peroxide will not work for icy soles because you do need a stronger solution. As you can see with the results of Retrobrite, it works just as well as soul sauce and it removed the yellowing off of the rubber soles and all the grime and dirt as well. They look practically brand new. So I've already gutted and repainted the midsoles for the donor pair. I made sure that I painted the midsole a little bit more yellow than the upper white leather material because I've seen so many pairs where the white midsole just looks too white compared to the upper leather like nah son, take that shit back. So I've applied a layer of adhesive on both the midsole and the rubber sole and after letting it cure for a couple of hours I'm gonna use a heat gun to reactivate the glue and then bond them together. But I am also the best restorer on YouTube so I'll just be using my black magic to do it for me. So I'm testing the alignment and it's a little bit off so I'm gonna be using a Dremel tool to lower the foam so the upper material leather or the elephant print can sit lower and fit flush to have that factory look. And once I'm happy with the alignment, I'm going to be applying a layer of adhesive on the midsole and the upper material to let that cure for a couple of hours and hit it with a heat gun to reactivate it again and bond them together. Elephant print is peeling right here, so I'm just gonna glue it back. I don't have the machine to sew it back, so the next best thing to do is just glue it back. This won't be a full restoration unless we resurrect the leather, cause look at that boy, like, golly man, that shit been torn up. So I already have a pre-mixed solution of paint that I mixed that includes white and a little bit of yellow and brown to give that aged leather look. Um, it's still going to be brighter than the midsole but I just want to rejuvenate the leather and give it a brand new look. And we're going to be taping off the elephant print and the midsole since we don't want to get paint on them. 
So I just wanted to make a pass at the back tab since we are going to be doing a swap of that later. I just wanted to clean up all of the excess stuff, all the strings, so that can be done with. So before we jump into painting the upper material, I just want to remove the varnish that is still on the leather with acetone. Not only will this strip the varnish for our paint to stick, it will also remove the dirt and grime that is embedded within the leather grain. Here's a quick comparison with the untouched and the repainted leather. You can see how much more alive the shoe is after repainting the leather. Alright, so now we're going to touch up the elephant print with a fabric pen and this will make the shoe poppin' man. You, can, I, you just don't even understand what difference this will make on the shoe. So I'm going to be scraping off the white paint off of the leather trim since it's not supposed to be there. Now the second to the last step of this restoration will be to replace the back tabs. I know in the beginning of the video the tabs look perfect but I already had a feeling that they were going to crack during the midsole swap process. So I went ahead and ordered these tabs that are truly perfected of the 1988 back tabs from Red Inside. His contact is in the description below. And the last step will be to restitch the toe cap and I will leave the step by step tutorial on the top right corner if you guys want to see how that is done. Now this wraps up the restoration. If you guys did enjoy it, please give it a like and comment down below. These may not be worn by Michael Jordan but I do have a shoe that I did restore that was game worn and signed by him. I completed these a month ago, but anyways, hope you guys enjoy, take it easy, God bless, yay! What's up y'all? If you guys enjoyed this video man, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give me that thumbs up. If you guys want me to restore a shoe for you, my email is down in the description below or just head out, look right there in that 
uh, bottom right corner it says Manalo Restoration so check that out send me an email I all right, hope your day is as beautiful as you are all right fellas that's how you get them after you send it to a female make sure to get the number all right late.